Hello friends, in the series of LabVIEW tutorials, today we discuss about comparison palette in LabVIEW. So over here in functions programming, we have a comparison palette. Basically, this is used in <coughs> any program like if you want to control the temperature of room or if you want to check the number of persons in a room and any comparison you can use this palette so one by one i will discuss this so over here we have a equal to so in this case if the x is equal to your y in that case you can got the true value like if over here we have four and over here we have two in that case it is false and when i continuously run this and when x is equal to 2 it will give me <coughs> true so this is the case of comparison palette so over here when it is not equal to when it is greater than when it is less than when it is greater than equal to less than equal to or when it is equal to 0 so these are the functions you can use in your program like if we have a array of 0 to 100 and we in that we select a number and i want to check that number it is greater than 0 or less than 0 or it is greater than a specific value or less than a specific value we can check using these functions okay it will give you in form of true and false only okay so now i just delete this this is the select function i right now i explain its function so over here this is the value true if the value is true right now it is a function and over here it is the value so when it is true like in this case when true is there it will generate a value 8 and if false is there it will generate a value 1 so when i hit on continuous run right now it is false it will generate a value 1 when it is true it will generate a true so this is the how you can use this select function in lab view okay so our next function is max minimum if we have any function or any value like in this case create a control over here again create a control and in this you uh, want to check the value if they in this case we have a scalar value only or uh, one value is there if we have a array we can find out max minimum of that also so over here this is the max over here this is the minimum like in this case over here is 7 this is 2 so when i hit on run button in this maximum is 7 and minimum is 2 it will generate maximum and minimum value of these two then we have in range and cost basically when you hit on control h over here we have upper limit then x and then lower limit and this is the cost and this is the in ranged function basically over here i just create a control and again over here control it is the lower limit and this is my value of x and this is the cost value and this is the it is in range or not so my upper limit is let 10 and lower limit is 0 and when i continuously run this this is in range when i increase this it is also in range cost value is also there right now upper limit is reached and my cost value is 10 so you can set your value and this value is right now x is input value is 18 but the cost value is 10 so you can set your values lower limit and upper limit and you can find out it is in range or not in range okay 
not in the range so this is how you can use in range and cause then if you find out any empty array like over here i first create a array and in this i just assigned i use this and i use empty array and in that array i want to check if there are element any element is there or not when i hit on run button so over here it is a empty array because no element is in this so when i put an element in this it is off so this is how you can check an empty array then we have empty string you can check so first i take a array of string so just put string control in this just connect this and create an indicator over there so again in this case i just i i'm not putting any value in this i just click on run button so right now it is off and i put any value so something is wrong over here returns true if string or path is in empty string or empty path otherwise this function return false okay so this function is also designed to work with variant picture and dsc tags also so i just delete this first and i create a string over here and in this string i just connect this and create a indicator over here when i hit on run button it is on because the string is empty when i put any letter or any word in this or any character in this it is off okay this is how you can use and when you use a array of string like over here i put this one and when i not uh, this one in this case i have to put a string in this so this is the case i just connect this to this and delete this because in this case the input is string array string so output is also a array so when i in this case i have four values again i have four values when i hit on run button so right now i didn't assign any value like over here just put a character in this uh, a and when i hit on run button this one is got some value this is not empty string so it is off all the three are empty string like this and when i put on this also it is also off okay so this is how you can use how you can find out empty string in any field so this is decimal digit basically it it is the part of digital so over here i just create a control and over here we have indicator so as the first character is a letter not letter a numeric it will create a true function so when i hit on continuous one so when i put 45 or 55 again it is true when i put a letter because it will generate true function when the first letter is a numeric in this case it is a alphabetical so it is off okay so this is work for decimal only it will check for only first letter as you see return true if character represent a decimal digit range from 0 to 1 if character is a string this function uses the first character in the string if character is a number this function interprets it as a sky value of the character okay so next function in this case we have our hex digit so again create control then indicator the hex digit is 0 to f so as i it on continuous when i put 8 
it will on when i put a it will also on when i put g it is off because our value is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f hex digit okay so this is how you can use this one this function then we have our octal digit it is from 0 to 7 only so again create a control you can check true only when the value is between 0 to 7 so when i put 8 over here it is off when it is 7 again it is on so you can find out any octal hexadecimal or decimal using these functions so this is how you can use comparison palette and this is the express vi placed in comparison palette over here you can use this function over here we if we want to compare any two wave forms you can use this okay so these are the how you can compare like data points time spam time between points time of data points single name so i take a example if equal to function and in this over here is our operand and over here is our constant value so i just take i just create an indicator you can create a waveform also over here so over here again create a control and this is the result it is in the form of true and false also so you can use graph indicator or numeric indicator both in this case so i just put 5 in this and 5 in this and when i hit on it will generate a true function okay so this is how you can use or i can take another example like i just <coughs> create a sine wave so i just go to express bi and over here we have to i have to simulate a signal so i just take a sine wave and again copy it so this is a my sine wave i just go to comparison palette over here i want to check it is equal to or not according to data points so just put ok connect this and over here i just take a graph indicator in this case so when i hit on run button so it will generate values in between okay or in place of or when i hit on continuous again it will generate same value basically it takes the points value according to data points from 0 to 1 and when i put or when i change the value from 0 to 1 so the comparison input like 100 and when i hit on run button the same case is there it is little bit difficult one result per data points it will check one result per data point okay so when in place of graph when i use a numeric indicator in this case so it will give me one because both the values are same and when i change the sine wave to cos wave or square wave in that case when i hit on run button it will generate zero because the sine wave is not equal to square wave so this is how you can use comparison palette in lab view thank you